Previously on Mike in the Morning. Eat a medium pizza off your chest on Sunday. <laughs> Push your coffee table to the side. I like, it's an, I like that it's a medium. Yeah. It's not a small pie. A large is slothful. Large is excessive. Yeah. Is it hot, though, when it hits yes. your chest? Does that make you eat more quickly? It could. It could. Again, and we <laughs> talked about those motivating factors. Mike Falzone, do you think my hood is too big? <laughs> do you think his hood is too big? Let's take a look at this okay, thing. Yeah. I'll mm. tell you what, I'm never going to be the guy, I'm never going to be the your hood is too big guy. Oh, really? Because I'm sitting here like, how comfortable is this dude? Right. I have never worn a hoodie like this out of fashion. Right? Right. That's if a I'm very wearing good point. a hoodie like this, it's because I want to feel like I haven't left my bed yet. The question has to be raised, however. You have a hood that is a component to yes. your hoodie. You're absolutely right. How often is the hood up on that hoodie, percentage-wise? 20% of the time. So 20% of the time is a fairly low percentage. Yeah, but you're like, how often are you walking around with the hood all the way up? What are you hiding? Who are you hiding from? You chose to not have the hood up right now, for example. Correct, because I have... Yeah, we have a hat. That's too much. The hat game is good, too. That gets too hot too fast, and that's also important to take into account. I think this is very good. Yes. But I also think he looks a little bit like a Sith Lord from He does Star Wars. look... He does look... There's... Yeah. The problem with a large hood, and you're going to run into this, uh -huh. is you look like a shepherd on a rainy day because <laughs> there's too much. It casts a shadow. You right. know it's going to cast a shadow. Yeah. And what do people equate shadows with? Shady it it blacks out your eye sockets. Yeah. And then you're all of a sudden, you're kind of menacing. It, there's a menace. Right? To but if you're on, there's something completely different. If you're in uh, on a spaceship right. with, um, <laughs> uh, with prisoners. Yeah. You look you, evil. You want the hood on the spaceship. 100%. Uh, but if you're this guy on a couch eating a pizza off your chest, <laughs> comfiest day ever. Comfiest That's day true. ever. That's true. The hood is a hell of a product. I don't think his is too big because I'm a fan of a comfy. Mm -hmm. I like being a comfy boy. <laughs> and if you're a comfy boy, you're okay with me. Yeah. He looks comfy. So final Absolutely, this is really well done with the hood. Well done, not yeah. too big. Not too big. Presenting an introvert's guide. Being an introvert, you obviously can't just wander into the outside world. There are too many people out there that are going to laugh at you for reasons only you know. So before you do anything, you have to don the proper attire for outside interaction. Clothes are the easiest way to show off your personality. Through wearing a shirt of a movie or show you like, you can let someone know a lot about you, which is exactly why you're gonna cover that shit up with a hoodie. People can't know what your real personality is. That's too much ammo. Put that away. And this hoodie can't be colorful, no sir. You don't need plumage attracting eyes to you. What are you, a peacock? Have you ever seen someone fuck a peacock? I certainly hope not. Of course, old jeans and old sneakers are the only acceptable things to wear on your lower body. Anything shapely or new is much too attention grabbing and should be avoided like the plague. And now, back to the show. We got a question from a mom. Hi, I'm Hello. Anna. Long time listener, first time caller. Hi, I'm Anna. That's Milo. <laughs> pretty crazy. And Milo's 34. Sleeping one is Aurora. I have like two seconds to ask you this question. <laughs> this is my life. Um, I'm about to move from Washington State to Colorado. And I want to know what is the best way to make new friends besides just like through kids and mommy, daddy, meet up things. Who wants to do that? Um, right. I was thinking of making a brochure with like our family's likes and dislikes and kind of saying what, what we legit and blah, blah, blah junk about I, us. I think that's a terrible idea. And hand those out to people that look cool. Maybe become friends that way. On paper, that's a great uh, but idea. But my husband said that was too creepy. So I, I don't know how to go about it. Do I look on Craigslist? Do I... I don't know. We have to make sure this lady doesn't Do get killed. Do they have like a Tinder for friends? No, no, they Something don't. Like that? I don't Can't know. You... Help me out. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome what, what was questions. Anna. 
Anna and Milo, yeah. thank you so much for your question. Yes. Definitely don't do... No brochure. Yeah. If you can use the term brochure for a friendship thing, you've done the wrong... It's the wrong... I know that move. maybe that sneaky bro in the beginning of brochure might be a little misleading. But don't do that. You know how you know not to do a brochure? How? Even brochures for cool shit aren't cool. Are not cool. <laughs> totally. Someone tries to hand you a brochure? Yeah, what do you do? You got to come to this. You're like, never. Mm-mm. Whatever that is. No, 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 no. This lady's in a position that I'm not in. She has kids. Mm-hmm. You've heard of them. <laughs> and I don't know. It's hard enough to meet friends as an adult anyway. Right. You can't use us as an example because I made fun of you on Twitter and then you were like, hey, motherfucker, I'm listening. And then I was like, whoa, let's back up and go yeah, for coffee. It was aggressive. And that's it, not a way to start not a friendship. The best. No, this, is, this was lucky. I'm always scared because you owe me a punch in the face, kind of. <laughs> so I'm always just kind of waiting for it to happen. And if you did, I wouldn't. I'd be like, yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah. But after that, then we're back then we're, Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for the right moment. <laughs> I get it. I will say, I understand in this day and age of, in this day and age... Can I say that? Everyone can say everyone of a certain. I think if you've been alive for 25 plus years, you could say this day and age. So much of what we see is fake. So much of the social media, people are kind of making their lives look better than they are. You think people have friends. What? No one has any fucking friends. (laughs) (laughs) Really? No. You got a family. What else do you want? Yeah. You made two friends. Yeah. <laughs> you got a husband. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you get bored. Totally. Ask Zoya if she's if she's cool with just seeing me every day. <laughs> are you we? kidding? <laughs> Zoya, are you still around? When you're in a long term relationship with a, a person, I can't imagine that you that it's enough to just see me every day. It's not. <laughs> okay. Okay. First of all, thank you for your honesty. Oh wow. It hurt a little bit, that but was I can't thank love. you enough. How do you make friends as an adult? Yeah. Uh, I like to be alone. So. <laughs> okay. Zoe, go finish your chill. So that was everything. I'm not a good judge of character. I, I, I'm not a good judge for this. Yeah. Uh, for this conversation. But it is important to be okay with being alone, isn't it? Absolutely. I, I totally agree with that. I think that everybody needs to have their alone time. Yeah. Were you ever not in a relationship? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. See, that's... That's the juice right yeah. there. What? If you can be somebody who's not always in a relationship, like be okay with being alone, mm-hmm. be like your best supporter. I think the best advice I had ever gotten uh, out of a relationship was date yourself. Ooh. But she is, this is different because mm. she is married uh-huh. and she has kids. So we're saying she should leave her kids <laughs> Go be single and le- leave her husband immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a brochure. <laughs> It's just about her. A brochure? Yeah. She mentioned that she, it was very sweet. She was saying, I need to, to, to make new friends. Uh-huh. We just moved, we're moving to somewhere. And I'm, I'm thinking we should make a brochure that sort of talk, uh, that sort of lays out the qualities of our family. Okay. And if we see a cool person that we think looks nice, we should hand it to them. She was sort of saying she wanted to stay away from like kid, like meeting up in regards to kids. Like then they way. need to find a babysitter, go out right. and meet people organically yes. at bars or something along those lines. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. maybe a, a couple's uh, dance or something. Do you meet people at coffee shops? Does that happen? It I used to happen talk. back in the you day. You don't talk to any? Did you, so you've met people in coffee shops? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've talked to people. On like if you have a hangout, what about a hangout? Right, like like we, you and I went to breakfast. Why am I still standing? I don't because know. This is your, I kind of like well, this better. You guys, thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> like in the morning. <laughs> so you told the woman to leave her husband, and you're yeah. still here. Yeah. Thank you, Zoya. You're Thank you. <sighs> She's awesome. So pushy that one. I just met her for the first time, and I'm a fan. She's a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> I think I speak for everyone when I say, "Thank goodness this guy's back." <laughs> I'm going to get hit. Fuck, man. You guys had a pretty good thing going, and I interrupted it. You did, and it, and now it's just kind of starting from scratch. So you got to come back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think that finding somewhere, I think that's key is when we first moved here, too, because, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm a little bit older. Finding friends when you're older yeah. or making friends when you're older is so awkward. Right. And it's always like really, really hard to try and 
be okay with that and right. be open and vulnerable to people. So I think that uh, being open and vulnerable to people, uh-huh. that is beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Being real. And I, yeah. one of the things I loved about what she said is she's, she's putting herself out there. I want to make new friends yeah. and I want to make real friends. And she mentioned a religious component that maybe there was something, you know, things that are important to her yeah. that maybe she wants to share with other people. So she, maybe she finds a church yeah, that she goes absolutely. to, yeah. right? A yeah. coffee shop, maybe she, you know, starts a band. Honestly. T shirt, brochures. I just this like saying could be brochure. a thing. Yeah. Put all your family's information on a t shirt. Maybe she should have like a brooch, have a um a a made brooch. brooch. A brochure brooch. <laughs> a ball. Brooch. Oh, the new you guys, I think we did it. <laughs> <laughs> brocher i i like that's it that's the I'm best into idea it. yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you for your questions nice work everybody thanks guys <laughs>